All right, I'm up. Let's break down these trades. Starting out with the big one. The Ottawa Senators have sent forward Vladimir Tarasenko to the Florida Panthers, and this is honestly a really solid move. Not just for the Panthers, not just for Tarasenko himself, but Honestly, for everybody involved, you see, you could say that the trade itself was not really the best return for Ottawa. The Senators are getting themselves a 2025 third and a conditional fourth. The fourth becomes a third if the Panthers win the Stanley Cup. So essentially, Tarasenko, 50% retained for maybe two thirds. Is that not a lot? Uh, you know what? Look, a lot of the replies are saying, yeah. Florida robbed them. How do we keep on being a joke? Great trade for the Panthers. But honestly, if you take a look at the circumstances, this makes sense. And it's not because Vladimir Tarasenko is not valuable. My goodness, is he valuable. 32 years old, $5 million a year till the end of this year. So half that, $2.5 million, is going to be the AAV on Florida. And he's got 41 points in 57 games played this year. He is under a point per game, heading over to a team that already boasts a whole bunch of top goal scorers and point producers. This is a great ad for the Panthers. But you did have Darren Dreger go out there and say, hey, there's a curious amount of griping that's been started up over the return for Tarasenko. His family is in Florida, and he has a full no-move clause. Under the circumstances, I think Ottawa did pretty well. And you know what? This is kind of the territory when it comes to being able to give guys full no-move clauses. We already saw, actually it says here on Cap Friendly that it's a no-trade clause, so I kind of am intrigued as to Darren Dreger's thing here. But then again, still makes sense, right? No-trade clause, he still has control. This is the thing. Tarasenko is an established NHL vet. 32 years old, he signed as a free agent. There were specific terms that would have allowed him to sign in Ottawa. He needed to get that no-trade clause. He needed to get that protection. He needed to get that guarantee that if the Sens sucked in 23-24, which they do, then he would have the right to choose pretty much where he wants to go. And all the factors align here. Darren Dreger saying, yeah, I mean, his family's in Florida. What more do you want? Not only does he have people in Florida that he wants to connect with, but the Panthers also happen to be gosh darn good this year. So, under the circumstances, Tarasenko going to the best team in the NHL, he'll go back to see his folks. This makes sense. And so, for the Ottawa Senators, they were kind of trapped. We already had rumors yesterday saying that Tarasenko preferred to go to Florida. So, is anybody really surprised that this is the return? The Senators had zero, zero leverage here. And so, yes, while it is probably true that the Florida Panthers robbed the Ottawa Senators and Sens fans are pretty upset about this, at the end of the day, what can you do about it? Like, the Sens had no choice. The Ottawa Senators had themselves a guy who was doing so well, despite the circumstances of the team, Head over and see what's going on here. Tarasenko, top five point producer on the Sens. 41 points, as we had said. Just behind Batherson, Kachuk, Giroux, and Stutzla. But considering just how bad this team has been and considering how good this other team has been, I mean, look, Tarasenko is going over to a system that boasts... Oh, that's really interesting how he's on his own separate island here on Elite Prospects. That's really cool. But Tarasenko and his point production would actually be top five in Florida as well. It's just, I mean, look, the guys here in Florida, you have four players that would overtake the Senators guys in top scoring, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Tim Stutzla has 56 points. He's the number one guy in Ottawa. Meanwhile, you have the number four guy in Florida in Barkov at 62 points. So... Tarasenko is going to join this squad. Carter Verhage has 30 goals and 64 points. My goodness, I did not realize that he was that good. But Tarasenko adding himself onto this team is going to be a crazy good addition. Everybody seems to be good in the Florida Panthers system. They play a system that works. They just cannot stop winning. They're the best team in the NHL. So, of course, Tarasenko would have wanted to go here. Of course, Tarasenko would have wanted to visit his family there. Like, there are opportunities here that would not have been present with any other team. So, to get only a third and potentially a third, we're just saying a third and a third to make it sound better. It's really a third and a fourth. The Panthers are not guaranteed to win in the Cup, but 
I mean, look, they have a pretty good chance. So let's just say maybe a third and a third. Best case scenario, right? This is all you could have gotten, and I'm not surprised that the price is this low in the eyes of many people, because considering that Anthony Mantha trade that we had seen yesterday too, we were already kind of saying, okay, some of these guys may not be going for all too much, and Vladimir Tarasenko, with all the leverage that the Florida Panthers had, hey, he didn't go for too much, so... If you wanted to rant and rave in the comment section, then hey, you could feel free to do that. But just remember, this is the exact same thing that we had seen yesterday with this Anthony Mantha trade. Washington Capitals fans were upset that Mantha did not fetch a first. And now Tarasenko, you could say, is the same thing. Not only did he not fetch a second or a first, he didn't even fetch, like, multiple seconds or whatever. It's a third and a fourth. So... Do Sens fans have the right to be upset about this? You know what? I'll say yes, but at the same time, it's very understandable as to why this trade went down the way it had. So, Vladimir Tarasenko, with his six points in his last ten games and his four points in his last five, is joining the best gosh darn team in the NHL. This could be a pattern now. He'll be a Florida Panther, he'll become a free agent, maybe he resigns in Florida, he sticks around with his family, who really knows, or he uses the extended cap space that's going to be granted to NHL teams this summer to say, hey, I was a point-per-game guy the past few years. I only faltered off recently after coming back from all these surgeries. I had 41 points and 57 games played with the Sens, under a point per game. The Sens suck, and I was still doing all right. Give me the bag. The salary cap's going up this year, next year, and the year after that. So if Tarasenko wants to settle down and say, yeah, I kind of am ready to sign a multi-year deal now. I'm 32 years old, so give me that money. I'll stick around. And as long as I'm making, let's say, six, six and a half million dollars a year, I'm going to be okay, then that's a great strategy. Tarasenko had all the control in this situation, and it was like that from the get-go. The Senators did not really do all too well in convincing anybody that Tarasenko should have stayed, because why would he? The team sucks, and he has an opportunity to exercise his trade protection into going to strictly cup contending teams. So, Ottawa Senators fans, I understand your pain, but understand the situation. You are not going to win the situation from the beginning. It was set up for you to fail. At the end of the day, you got yourselves draft picks in exchange for a guy that you got for free on free agency. So, yeah, I mean... Curious amount of griping over the return. I get it. Darren Dreger's 100% right. Even the Grindline guys say, yeah... It still sets the tone, and it was still a bad return with 50% retained. I think it's more people's frustration with why Tarasenko was signed in that first place given the cap situation and then given a full no-move clause on top of that, which limited the Sens' trade partners, hence the meager return. I would have demanded a second-round pick regardless, nothing more, nothing less, especially if I'm retaining 50, but hey, if you had no opportunity to do that, the Florida Panthers don't have to tangle with you. So, Sens fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below how frustrating it is, this entire trade situation with Vladimir Tarasenko. You could say the Florida Panthers robbed you guys, but, I mean, look, there was no real winning in this to be had in the first place. You were set up to fail. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Vladimir Tarasenko going over to the Florida Panthers. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, bye.